Something looks off. I just created this clip, but my skin looks a bit weird. In this video, I will quickly show you two different methods how I would fix this problem. Method one is to specifically pinpoint the color that you want to change. So for this instance, I have my footage here in my timeline, and then I jump into my color tab. So as you can see, the footage doesn't look great yet because we still have to do the basics, such as exposure, white balance, and of course, lock conversion. After we've done these basic changes, let's apply a lot. For example, I can use this free slot I created. But as you can see, my skin looks a bit off. If I zoom in, I feel like there's a bit too much green in it. What I would normally do 99% of the time is to add another node right before lot, labeled skin. We want to use this node to mask up the skin color so when we make changes, it only applies to the skin and nothing else. For that, first of all, I change from parade to vector scope go to the settings and enable show skin tone indicator because this line here basically shows the right skin color nonetheless the skin color you actually have afterwards what i would do is i would go here to the qualifier and just select my skin but to actually see the skin i can press shift and h and that basically shows the area that i'm selecting but we have to refine it a bit so you can use these different sliders right here to modify your selection. It's not perfect, but it will do the job just fine. Normally what I would do also is I would add a bit of blur radius. So let's set this to 10 and also denoise it by 10 as well. This makes the selection a bit softer. Amazing. So basically now all the changes that you make will only affect the area that we have currently selected. So let me quickly disable the preview by pressing shift H again to see everything. Now I can also go to vector scope again, click to settings and click on show 2x zoom just to see my colors a bit better and see the line a bit better. If I want to make changes now, what I would normally do is I would go to the curves, then to the second page because here it's hue versus hue. I can select the skin top color that I want to change. Normally skin is around here. I can broaden the selection a bit more and now I can very subtly make changes. So if I would go to the bottom of this chart, you would see that it would look horrendous. Here it's a very good example just to see what we are affecting currently. So very subtle, I move the slider a bit upwards. And if I toggle this node on and off, you can see the changes that we've made. Here you can clearly see that the line now is way more closer to the indicator line than before. So that's the first method. This works almost every time. But as you can see, if we look closer, because our selection wasn't that refined yet, we also slightly affected the background a bit. This space right here. So how can we not affect the background? The second method I quickly want to show you takes a tiny bit longer, but will deliver even better results. So let me quickly just reset the node. You can go here through this masking masking tool. Sadly, this only comes if you have the paid version of DaVinci, but it's amazing. So now we can use our qualifier to again make a selection. So I want to select the hand and we can just draw the different fingers. Also, you can click on toggle mask overlay, this symbol right here to see in red what you've actually selected. Amazing. Then we click on better because that normally, well, makes a better selection of our subject and let it render uh, past and before the current frame that we mask out. Because if I would go a bit later into this clip, you see that we don't have a mask here and we also don't have a mask before. Only this little blue area right here we've currently selected. So just stay on that and click the symbol. Now this takes a second to just track the different frames depending on the chart length. Okay, now that it's tracked, we have a mask over our whole hands. Now we can make the same change as before. So we could go to the curves, just select the, the color that we want to change and slightly change it. 
just enough to move our line more towards the indicator. Also, if we want, we can add more saturation to our hands, maybe uh, push up the gain a bit or even increase the contrast a bit. And now this would be the before and this would be the after. It's clearly a better skin color as before without affecting the background at all. I hope this video helped you out. If yes, I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. With that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.